this problem it is given that a horizontally oriented copper rod of length l is rotated about a vertical axis passing through its middle what is the number of revolution per second at which the rod ruptures that means it breaks take density of rod as rho and tensile strength as sigma m. so let us draw the diagram of this rod it is rotating about axis passing through its middle suppose angular velocity is omega you have to first find the tension in this rod and tension is maximum at the location where this axis is so i am breaking this rod in half part so this is the half rod and suppose tension at this location is t and this t is providing the necessary centripetal force for the circular motion of this rod and t is equal to t is external force for this rod suppose mass of the rod is equal to m its total length is l this length is l by 2 and this mass is m by 2 so this t tension at this axle is providing the necessary centripetal force for this circular motion of this rod so t is external force and f external on the system is equal to mass into acceleration of center of mass this horizontal or radial external force on this rod on this part of the rod is t mass is m by 2 and acceleration acceleration of center of mass this is the center of mass at a distance l by 4 and this center of mass should be accelerated like this and this acceleration is equal to the centripetal acceleration of the center of mass centripetal acceleration is omega square multiplied by l by 4 so this is m omega square l by 8 as we increase the omega then tension also increases if tension also increases then tension also increases then chances of breaking this rod also increases this rod ruptures for a certain value of this omega and that omega corresponds to when a stress in this rod will be equal to its tensile strength which is given as sigma m this tension can be written for that particular value of omega is sigma m multiplied by suppose the cross section area of the rod here at which this tension is acting is a i am taking cross section area as a so t is sigma m multiplied by a m is not given directly so we have to use the density of the rod so m can be written as density of the rod multiplied by volume of the rod so this is cross sectional area multiplied by the length and rest terms are omega square l by 8 this e will get cancelled and we have to take <coughs> we have to find the value of omega 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 square is 8 sigma m divided by and this is l square so it is rho l square from here value of omega is under root 8 sigma m divided by rho and this l is outside we have to find the revolution per second and this is the angular velocity this is the angular velocity radian per second so for revolution you have to divide rps is equal to this omega divided by 2 pi to make it revolution per second divide by 2 pi 8 sigma m by rho 1 by l divided by 2 pi this 2 will be 4 and finally this answer can be written as 2 sigma m divided by rho this pi and l will remain 1 upon pi l so this is the final answer to this problem